<coughs> this past weekend at Harrowbury Stadium, the Westminster Titans took on undefeated pack opponent Case Western Reserve. The drama began early on Saturday after an early first quarter stop from the Westminster defense. Case Western Special Teams Unit mishandles a punt and ends up launching the ball back into the end zone for Westminster's first score of the game. Westminster up two to nothing. Pass intercepted, oh, nice. TJ Armstrong. He's, He's gonna, gonna run score. that in for a score. The Westminster defense makes their presence now with a pick six from linebacker CJ Armstrong. Westminster up nine nothing. Throughout the first, the Case Western defense makes it very hard for the Westminster offense to get much going. The Westminster defense does what it can to stay strong against the high power offense. The second quarter begins, and after an exchange of punts, Westminster's offense commits its first turnover of the day. Cornerback Todd Jeter doesn't take long to respond with a turnover of his own for the Westminster defense. With the first half winding to an end, a few completions and positive plays helps give Westminster some momentum. After a few cuts and a dash, freshman running back Bryce Hill caps off the drive with a 45-yard touchdown run. And off to Bryce again. Bryce has got a lane. He's on his feet. He's going to beat him to the end zone. Nobody's going to stop him. Bryce Hill, the freshman running back. Westminster up 15-0. At the beginning of the second half, Case Western receives the ball first, and the offense puts together a drive for their first points of the day. The Westminster defense holds strong and keeps Case Western to three points. Westminster up 15-3. Late in the third, the Westminster offense responds with adjustments and a drive of their own, capping it off with a one-yard touchdown run from Billy Medea. Westminster up 22-3. With the Westminster defense trying to remain as stingy as possible, the Case Western offense shoots for the stars and comes down big with a spectacular catch for their first touchdown of the day. The following two-point conversion attempt is good. Case Western down 22-11 late in the third. With both teams battling hard, the fourth quarter arrives. The defenses tighten their grip and both offenses are forced to exchange punts. In the middle of the fourth, the momentum swings to the Case Western defense after forcing a fumble in Titan territory. The defense tries to hold strong, but after a few completed passes and a couple missed tackles, Case Western is led to the third score of the day. The two-point attempt after is good, Case Western down, 22-19. The Westminster offense tries to put a drive together to chew clock, but Case Western's defense holds strong and forces another three and out. Once again, Case Western's offense finds himself knocking at the door again. The tough Titan defense tries to hold strong on a fourth and goal, but the Case Western offense refuses to be held out. Case Western takes the lead for the first time of the day. Westminster down 26-22. With a little over four minutes remaining in the game, the Westminster offense looks to its rushing attack to put together a game-winning drive. A few strong runs put together by Don McKinley and Bryce Hill set up Westminster at first and goal. They're coming from the outside. Hand off to Bryce again, still on his feet. He's still going, still on his feet. Bryce Hill, he's about a two yards short. Westminster's last dash of a game-winning effort comes to an end after a mishandled handoff between quarterback Joe Salomon and running back Dom McKinley is recovered by the Case Western defense. Westminster loses 26-22. Next weekend, the Westminster Titans will travel down to pack rival Geneva.